Hey everybody, I'm Amber. And I'm Peter. Welcome to Sailing Asara. My life's dream has been to sail the oceans and explore new places. We both quit our jobs to try a different lifestyle. And after a long break and some travel, we're back preparing the boat and doing some shakedown sails to get ready for sailing south. Hey guys, welcome back. So as we're gearing up to go to Mexico, one of the projects that I have on tap from last season was I wanted to go to an all electric galley. So an electric induction cooktop and then an electric air fryer as an oven. I want to eliminate gas and simplify things as much as possible. Now, arguably electric isn't necessarily that much simpler or at all simpler than gas but it does get rid of one fuel source on the boat, which I like to simplify the amount of fuels that we need to carry. Plus my current stove is a natural gas stove and that is hard to find in Mexico. So I want to change that out anyways. So I have a friend coming down. He's going to help me get out the stove and then uh, we go on a little fishing trip. And then the second half of the video will be me disassembling the stove and replacing it with a custom built by me electric stove oven so stay tuned for that okay this is my buddy kevin and he is going up, to <laughs> he is going to help us remove this stove so we can get this stove out and then assemble and figure out how we're going to install the induction stove top uh, and stove oven which will go below so Here's what it looks like right now. So let's get this thing out. Ready? Yep. Do you get the fishing pole? All right. We're going fishing. We got Because we're hungry. We got to work on this here, Peter. Weight on top of the hook. We got to get a bigger weight with a two foot leader. Um, I have almost no... Not now, Here. but I'm just saying future reference would be more ideal. I don't know, does he know what he's talking about? Yeah. We're in the ocean. We got like 40 pounds. You're, you're a river man, dude. I'm a lake guy. Yeah, exactly. And I use bigger weights than this in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they just slip in there. There's no there's no special thing. Oh, you got seats? Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. I am. Should we start the motor? Nah, we'll be fine. <laughs> Choke. Wait. Oh. Let's go ahead and we're, uh, grab we're, uh, this uh, good old dock uh, here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a little, little pause. I guess the paddles were a good idea. Yeah, it just dies when it's in gear. Um, it's definitely having intermittent fueling. I'm just trying to think. Did I? Is there anything else that I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Fuel switch or what? Uh, fuel switch. Fuel switch was off. Let's just do a little test around here. Let's not just. I need to hit the fair line, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Did you bring that rain coat thing? Yeah. You want to put it on? No, I'm good. Yeah, it... it's feeling like the, the end is near. <laughs> the whole boat is folding. We brought the pump, right? Yeah, I'm too scared to uh, move. Yeah, no, you shouldn't attempt, move. Attempt to fill it. What, open the valve or take the pump off. It deflates. Yeah, see so your seat slowly coming out of the left side. Yeah. 
It's really, that's the, that's the one thing that I need to fix on this thing. Otherwise, it's been great. Yeah. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Solid as a sock. <laughs> okay. All right, let's pause. <laughs> about to go overboard, folks. Hold my beer. <laughs> I will hold and tax your beer. This isn't beer, dude. I know. That's what real men drink. Yeah, white claw. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, it'd be fine if this thing was like a foot longer, too. Have a little extra hanging out. Yeah, well, come up with an idea. Let me know. Because this a bit longer. No, you want to make these things as small as possible, though. Oh, you're out again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly wet. I don't know if you can see this, but it is soaked through. But the the dinghy, I mean, it's hella wet, but it does it it does its job. It floats and it moves. It floats and it moves. Hey, you know the great thing about our fishing setup here is if we don't catch anything, we could just reel in the beef jerky and eat it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm banking on it. Sharks don't like dinghies, right? Oh uh, well, maybe one way to find out. <laughs> Take it to the fair lawns. Yeah. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> what the? F oh you got a hell of it. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> I knew I should have brought that net. Damn it! We have to go all the way back. <laughs> that, was a, that was more than a keeper, dude. Dude. Fuck! I thought it was a ray at first. <laughs> and then. Holy shit! What the Did fuck? You get that on video? I got like the last two seconds of it. Oh! Who tied that hook? I, I mean. Well, we're gonna work on these hook tying skills. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, man. It wasn't me. Hey, bro, it happens. <laughs> Beef jerky from grocery outlet on that hook. Got your U bolt. You Perfect weight. You don't. Hook. You don't think this is too close to the hook? No, nah, I mean good? the weight was on the hook last time. Okay. <laughs> so. All right, man. Let's not waste any time. Let's get going. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Sailboats have the right of way. I do. Look at how sweet that looks, man. We went all the way back to the boat just to come all the way back out for one old ass rusty hook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All our hopes and dreams are on that tiny, tiny little fucking hook. All right. You ready? Yeah, we got a custom U bolt weight. About a two foot leader ish. And the secret weapon grocery outlet, sweet and spicy beef jerky. <laughs> sweet and spicy beef jerky. It's probably more seaweed. But we're recording, yeah, it's yeah, seaweed. seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fish. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I better get this net ready, huh? Doesn't feel like anything. Doesn't feel like anything? I don't know. Yeah, there, I don't know, man. Could be a little guy. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I, I think we got dinner. Oh, we got dinner. We got dinner. We got fucking dinner, man. That's a fish. Get that net down there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Go slow. Go slow. Don't lift. Oh, that's a striper, motherfucker. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Beef jerky. <laughs> Dude, that's a keeper, man. All right. You got it. <laughs> Dude, sweet and spicy beef jerky, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, you want to <laughs> you you want to hold I don't know if you want to hold him in the water or what. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crikey. That's big, man. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me one of these, then I'm gonna dispatch. Okay. We got the assembly line going, folks. Got our fillet pieces. Beautiful. Egg and uh, small but savory pork rind <laughs> powder. <laughs> We're just uh, I don't know, improvising. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Yep. And we got one on the in the oil already. Fun good. Let's just do it again. <laughs> Let's just do it again. What right. we did was we, we uh, <laughs> tasted the first piece. Yeah, but and now we gobbled it down so quick. We now didn't have time to start recording. Also, I'm gonna dip it in here. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Super good. No, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like fluffy, but meaty. Oh wow. Yeah, I could eat, could eat a lot of that. Okay, so after that amazing meal, the next day, I brought the oven back up to the house to work on it. Okay, so we got the new induction stove top, and then we got the oven out of the boat. Thank you, Kevin. And what I'm hoping is that I can take this sheet metal off and fit this nifty little stove oven or, or oven air fryer oven I guess inside so wish me luck check out this amazing fit bam look at that put a little wood strip here but the question is will I be able to take out all the internals I'm not sure yet so now I get to do what I'm best at, and that's tearing things apart. Yes. Okay, so this is the oven. Okay, so now let's try to see how we can create a shell for that. Okay, so I realized I can remove this bottom panel to screw up to be able to mount everything. Okay. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's so perfect. Okay, I actually have this piece. I'm using this bottom drip tray thing, where it's just like reinforcement up top.
here's my amazing contraption. Yeah, now, really I should rivet this because this is an aluminum to aluminum. And uh, aluminum does not, it's not super strong for screwing into, so. Okay, half an hour later spent trying to get a rivet out of the rivet gun. Okay, wow, that is very stable. Very, very stable. So happy and excited about is that uh, this thing is this plug and play. Oh, and then in addition to the support bracket in the back that I got, I also have these two support brackets here. Again, just stuff to get it, give it a little bit extra stiffness. So I think this thing is, I wouldn't say it's highly overbuilt, but I say it's very well built, so. Very happy with it. Okay, here is the area behind the stove oven. Let's get this cleaned up. I think we're ready to install it. It's pretty clean. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I feel like Okay, it's not in the gimbal yet. Okay. Oh. Fuck yes! Woo! Yes. Already locked in place. Okay, it's just a smidge back heavy, which is perfect, because I can put more weight up here. Now let's put the um, yeah the stove top in there. Let's see how that looks. And there she is. With some pots in there. Now with that installed, the last thing to do is to make the little piece at the back of the stove top to cover the gap on the top of the oven. I got a Dremel. And I have never done routering before. <clears throat> then I have my jig here to hopefully keep the Dremel where I want it. So let's try this. How much mess is it going to make? Do you think I should, do you think I can do this indoors? No, Peter, don't do it! Because it's dark out. Let's just try it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. No. 
probably a terrible idea. Yes. Let's plug you in. Something's gonna happen. That's relatively messy. Full speed. Wow. I'm impressed. And it made a little bit of a mess, but not too bad. There's a little bit of a gap here, but if I really want, I can fill that with epoxy. There's the mistake side. I mean, it's still pretty darn good. Let's try this side. Okay, well, here's the test. Okay. Oh, 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 oh that fits so perfectly. Oh, let me, let me disconnect you from the stand. Oh, it's kind of dusty, but look at that. I'll leave this here to rest beautifully. Ah, yes. And clean up my terrible mess. I'm glad Amber isn't here. She would, she would have a fit with that. Okay, over and out. So some projects you do, they turn out a lot worse than you like, and I would say this project turned out better than I was expecting, so very happy with that. I did do one more thing, and I epoxied the bevel of these edges, just to give it a little bit more strength. And uh, anyways, uh, months later as of this video, I am happy to report that the oven works great. The oven itself works great, the stovetop itself works great, but I do have some electrical issues that I discovered, and that will be in future episodes. But the assembly and the balance of everything is so far working great. Next up, I take Amber out in the boat and we almost die. I also fix some fueling and electrical issues as I continue the refit. So uh, thank you for watching, and if you do want to follow our journey as we try to refit this boat to head south, then please like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.